everybody. In this video, we're going to be having a look at an application of compound interest, which is to calculate the inflation. So the first question is, what is inflation? Um, I'm sure maybe a lot of you guys have had this discussion with somebody much older than you. You ask them for, or they, you say this price of something is a particular amount, and they would tell you what they could get with that same amount, like whenever when they were your age and the the point is that like for example 10 rand today is not the same as 10 rand 30 years ago or whatever the case is so inflation is the rising of the prices of things and it rises compound it, it, it has a compound interest rate, um, increase so it increases exponentially so um, we're going to have a look at some examples. So here we have, um, it says calculate. Um, so we have the price of a car is 160,000. How much would it be in 10 years at an inflation rate? And then we have different inflation rates. So let's do the first one. We have that it's, we're using compound interest. So we're gonna use one plus I to the power of N. So, um, over here, we want to know what will it be in 10 years time. So we want to know the accumulated amount. The principal amount is 160,000. The interest rate in the first case is 1%, which is 1,01 .01 to the power of 10. And if we calculate that, then we just get, typing it into our calculator. So remember to put your percentage as either a decimal or fraction. So if the inflation rate is 1%, it's 1,76739. Um, okay, let's calculate the second one, number B. So for number B, everything is the same. It's just now that the interest rate, uh, the inflation rate is different. So now it's 3%, so 1,03 to the power of 10. So um, when we calculate that, what we get is um, uh, 215,026,62. So you can already see that um, like if you have a 1% inflation rate compared to a 3% inflation rate, it makes quite a big difference to the rise in prices over time. And the final one is when you have 6%, so A is equal to 160,000. 1 plus 0, 0,06 to the power of 10. And then calculating that, we get that it will be 280,86,535.63. So that is inflation. Um, please take note that whenever they give you a question related to inflation, you need to use the compound interest formula to calculate the effects of inflation. I hope that you have understood this video. Please watch our other videos for more information on financial math. Thank you for watching. Bye.